Hey everybody, it's Phoenix Talon, and today I'm going to do a tutorial for you on how to get auto tracking to work with Emo Tracker and SNES 9X. I couldn't really find a video on how to do this, so I didn't kind of had to look some stuff up. So I'm putting this video here so that in case I forget, I know what to do and it's easy for me to find. And also, if you are watching this, you probably have the same question. So this is here for somebody like you as well. So let's get started. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do is go get Emo Tracker. I'm going to assume that you probably already have it, which is why you're here. But in case you don't, this is how you find Emo Tracker. You go into Google and you type in Emo Tracker. I'm not going to put links to anything because versions change, websites change, things change, the world ends, all that stuff. I don't want you to get a 404 and put it in my comments and say, I couldn't find it. <laughs> Google, okay? Um, anyway, go into Emo Tracker, click on download, go to install now, bang, got it. All right, if you don't know how to install something, you need a lot more help than what I can give you. So let's go over here. Next thing you're going to need to find is SNES, SNES 9X. Now, the thing about SNES 9X is you can't just get any old version of it, okay? Uh, you need a very specific one. You need this one. So let me scroll in so you can see this. You need, and I'll put some text on the page here, you need SNES 9X-RR. So you Google that, all right? If you download just the 9X part with no dash RR, you're not going to find what you're looking for. Well, you might, but, you know, consider yourself lucky if you do. So you can go ahead and click on this first one. It's the, the gocha, gotcha, whatever you want to call it. Boom, right here. So now um, the Emo Tracker, you know, does its own updates thing. So you don't have to worry about keeping that up to date. But this might change. So definitely make sure you're keeping your, your stuff up to date. Okay. Download the one that's pertinent to you and uh, go ahead and uh, unzip that into a folder. So uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is now that you've installed Emo Tracker, is you're going to want to go to the Emo Tracker folder. I went ahead and put it somewhere easy, and then also you're going to look for this Emo Tracker executable file. I went ahead and made a shortcut of this, put it in a folder because I hate scrolling through stuff and finding things. So that made it very easy for me. Either way, whatever you choose to do, that's your biz. You're going to go ahead and open this up. Now I open with a data pack right away, uh, or a package right away. Yours may not. See, like I said, it's checking for updates. It does it all the time. Um, <laughs> sometimes it finds some, sometimes it doesn't. If you don't have any packages installed um, and you're looking to do like an SMZ3 randomizer, then you can come in here to this little cloud with the little down arrow in it, and then you're going to go find which package you want to install. So there's a lot of them in here. It depends on what randomizer you're trying to get done. It depends on what games you're playing, all that stuff. Okay, so find the one you want, install it, and then go ahead and close that out. Then you come over to this cog, you're gonna do installed packages and find the package you wanna do. I am personally using right now the Super Metroid LTTP randomizer, the Super Metroid and ALTTP randomizer map tracker with the standard version, okay? So that's what you're looking at right here, okay? It, it has this nice little map, it has a link to the past maps um, and you can go to all the different places in uh, SM and uh, Zelda. And then you've got all your items down here and uh, no, this is not a feature thing, but I got to show you because it, it'll come up the broadcast view. So you go into the COG application broad, broadcast view. And this, if you're a streamer, is what you want to link to. Mine looks a little different because I've got a uh, file in here that actually changes this. Yours is going to look a little different and that's fine. Uh, just understand that you can get this. This is the window that you're going to link into your streams, not this big window. Okay, just so you know just a tip okay so we're done with that now what you're going to want to do is open up your SNES 9x there's the executable for that again make a shortcut somewhere because this is the only thing you need we're going to go ahead and open that it's going to ask you to run it it's fine i'm going to go ahead and get rid of that now and you're going to come over here so now the thing to keep in mind about this is you're like, oh, let's go ahead and play the game. Everything's going to work, right? No, no, it's not going to all work. You got to come over back to your emo tracker and go to this little robot. Now you could do this step before you open your SNES 9X. I just do it with both things open. So that way I can just do everything together. Does not matter. You can do it however you want. So you're going to go down where this little robot head is in the corner of your emo tracker. And it's going to actually have a little pop-up that says auto tracking. Hey, what do you know? So right click on that and you're going to go to where it says SNES and you're going to pick on Lua. 
the Lua's because we're going to use a Lua script to link these two things together. The SD2 NES SNES is actually a, spe a special cartridge that goes into a console, has a cable that hooks into it, and that's where your ROMs are. So we're not doing that, okay? We're using an actual uh, emulator, which is the SNES 9X. So you're going to click Lua, and your robot head will go from white to yellow. That's good, okay? That's where you want it for right now. You can come over back to your SNES 9X window and click on File. Go down to where it says Lua Scripting. If yours doesn't have Lua Scripting, it means you're not using the right SNES 9X, all right? You need the dash RR version. This is why. This is also, incidentally, the same version you need for multi-world. So if you're already a multi-world player, you probably already have this, okay? So just so you know, probably should have prefaced with that. But this is what you need. So Lua scripting, new Lua script window. Open that. It's going to open hey, a new Lua script window. Once you have this, go ahead and go to browse. Now mine's already set to go there because I, I was just using it. But it's going to be found. You're going to go to your emo tracker folder. Okay, the emo tracker folder. Don't go to your SNES 9X folder. Go to your emo tracker folder. Then you're going to look for a folder called connectors. All right, this is what it looks like. Then you're going to come in here and you're going to look for a folder called SNES 9X. All right, we're not doing this for BizHawk. That's a totally different emulator. Okay, we're doing this for SNES 9X. Then you're going to see right here called connector.lua. That's the script you want. And incidentally, being named connector, it makes it easy. So double click on that. It's going to go ahead and, and do its running, but it's not going to change much right now. Okay, just that's fine. It says its script is returned, but it's still running registered functions. That's fine. Leave it there. The head is still yellow. Also fine. Now, you're going to want to open your ROM. How you get your ROMs is your business. Okay. But this is specifically designed, in this case, because I'm using the tracker for SMZ3, I need an SMZ3 randomizer uh, ROM. So I have one, so I've already got it in my recents, so we're going to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to say connection established, and your robot head is going to go from yellow to cyan. If it goes red, you missed, some, you missed a step. If it stays yellow, there's a couple of things you can try. Uh, one is you're going to want to go ahead and uh, click on either your script to restart the script. Maybe you've got the wrong script. Double check that you've got the correct script. You can go ahead and check your robot. Right click on it and make sure you're using the right one for Lua and or stop it and restart it. Okay, so those are all things that you can check and do. If If you've made it this far and it's still like that and we've done this little troubleshooting bit, Go on their forums and find out, you know, their information for troubleshooting because it's beyond the scope of what I know how to do. All right, now that we've got this game running, we're going to go ahead and prove that it works. So if you've gotten this far and you say, yep, I can go ahead and check it on my own, go ahead and turn off the video and I'll see you next time. But if you want to make sure that it works, so you come in here and we'll just go ahead and, you know, click on this so it'll actually work. <laughs> we'll start this. Uh, and actually, let's clear that because I already had a game that I was testing. So I already know where the item is. Um, so it's not a big deal. You wouldn't obviously do this on one you were planning on playing. You'd do this on the one you're testing. Let me go ahead and set my controls, though, because I'm weak and I need to do it a certain way. And I'm not a speedrunner, so don't laugh at me. <laughs> All right. You can laugh with me, not at me. All right, so we're going to go in here, and we're just going to go check the very first item in Link to the Past that we can get to, uh, which is the chest. And then we'll go check Uncles so that we know. Now, something that's, that's going to happen for us here is that you notice that it says 24 heart pieces. I don't know if that's a bug or a glitch, but I do know that it goes away when you go to Link to the Past. So watch this, and it's going to go away. Bam, there it goes, it's gone. So I don't know if it's just a bug, but it's fine. All right, and we're going to save and quit and go to Link's house. So let's start at Link's. Please, thank you. All right, and I think this was missiles. Yeah, it is. So if you'll notice, I got the five missiles, and bam, right on the tracker, it shows that I got the five missiles. That is important, okay? If that didn't work, then you, you got other issues. So we're going to go check Uncle real quick. 
Um, now, one of the things that is cool about this, or or not cool, depending on your perspective of cool. Here, let me pause this so you can see. So there's a map here for Link to the Past. And what I want you to see is that when I grab both of these items, that little green box over there for uh, the uncle indicator that, there, you know, there's two items here, right? So that little green box is going to go away, actually. So we're going to come over here, grab uncle, all right? And it's a hammer, okay? And you notice we got hammer being tracked, so we're good. Well, good. All right, thank you. And then this is an E-Tank. So you notice the green block went away and we got the E-Tank. So that'll show you that, you know, everything's working just fine. Now, the other thing too, you might be wondering is what happens if my game crashes? Well, you just restart your game, redo the Lua box um, and everything's fine. Now, it's very important that you do not close this Lua box. Minimize it all you want, you know, whatever. It'll come back when you uh, de-minimize the game. Like if I minimize that and then um, pull it back up, the Lua box will pop back up and so will that and everything else will minimize, of course. Um, so this this will show back up. So that's fine. Just don't red exit, okay? Important safety tip. Uh, but the other thing that'll happen is you can change between packages. So let's say you don't like this one and you want to do uh, a more minimalistic package, which is the Pug HUD. So you come over here and do like Quispy, for example. And then this is the one that you'll get, okay? And um, you'll have to reconnect though, okay? So you come over here to your auto tracking. I'm just showing you that this still works. And you're gonna hit start. And if you're lucky, you'll get a cyan head. If you're unlucky, it'll go red and then stay red. If it does that, you'll have to come down here and reinitialize your Lua script, which is fine because you can just stop it and restart. Um, but everything will be fine. You just go with it. Uh, even if you quit the game and come back to it, as long as you use the save file, it will remember. It's an amazing script. I love this. Whoever did this, man, you know, I, I don't know. But you guys are amazing, and this was awesome. Um, so anyway, that's going to end uh, what I have for you. If you have questions, I may not have answers. Um, so please, you know, um, you know, do what you can. But... Uh, thank you very much for watching, and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Um, until the next video, thanks for watching. Peace.